hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i will show you how to fix user crashing on startup and how to fix crashing from user after starting and how to fix crashing while playing games in user so let's get started in this video guys i will show you all solutions of crashing problem for user emulator so let's start solution number one go to emulation and configuration and go to graphic tab and go to advanced settings and make sure your box this one is unchecked decode astc texture you need to disable this option so disable it and okay solution number two go to emulation again and configuration and go to graphics tab and make sure you are using Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL. Some games are workable with Vulkan and some games are workable with OpenGL. But Vulkan is better than OpenGL. After selecting Vulkan, select your GPU device from here. If you are using multiple devices, then select powerful GPU from here. And check these all options from here. Already selected by default and VSync mod select on and select the resolution scale 1x 720p by 1080p and select non from here and go to advanced tab and select normal from here otherwise you can select high and select uncompressed best quality and check these options from here and go to general tab and select multi-core cpu emulation and ok Solution number 3. If you are trying to play new game on your user emulator, then make sure you have latest version user emulator. Because older version user emulator does not support newest version games. So you need to update your user emulator. I am using latest version user 1454 in 2023. Solution number 4. Go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab if you are using Vulkan with your GPU device then make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter now right click and go to properties and go to drivers and you can see driver date and driver version you are using for your GPU device if you are using all those version drivers then please update drivers for your GPU solution number five if you are using latest version drivers for your GPU device then go to control panel for your GPU device whatever you are using AMD or NVIDIA or Intel HD graphics then right click and go to NVIDIA control panel because I have an NVIDIA GPU device go to adjust image settings and select from here performance and apply Check this option and apply and go to manage 3D settings. Scroll down and power management mod. Select maximum performance from here. And OpenGL training GPU. Select GPU device from here. And texture filtering quality. High performance. Now click on apply. Now go to configure surround and select your powerful GPU from here. Click here and select auto recommended otherwise you can select your powerful GPU. So I am using NVIDIA GeForce. This is why I select my GPU device. Apply and it's done. Now go to manage 3D settings again and go to program settings. 
Now click on add and go to browse and go to your user emulator folder you are using and select your user application file from here. Open and apply. Now close it. And for more solutions, right click and go to display settings. Now scroll down and go to graphics settings. Now delete your old user exe file from here. Remove and browse and go to your user emulator folder. Select this application file, add and options and high performance and save and it's done. After these solutions, if you're still facing the issues for your user emulator, then I have another best solution of this problem. Go to files and open user folder and delete your shadows folder from here. Now close it and restart your user emulator. After deleting shaders folder from your user emulator, you can fix the issue. And after deleting shader folder, you still facing the issue, then go to file again and open user folder. And go to keys folder and make sure your prod keys and title keys is up to date. So my title key and prod keys is up to date and make sure you are using latest version firmware files. So I have already firmware files for my user emulator. And for more solutions, in many cases you need to delete some files from your user emulator after updating user emulator. It's very important thing guys. Go to file and open user folder. Now close your user emulator and create a new folder over here. And cut this all files and folder from here. Now close it and reopen your user emulator. Now reinstall everything like your trot keys and title key and firmware files. Close user emulator and go to keys and keys folder and copy your trot keys and paste here. And go to NAND folder system content registered and copy all files from here like this. Go back, go to your new NAND folder, system, content, registered and paste here. And it's done. Now close it and close this folder. Reopen your user emulator. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it then please subscribe my channel and like my this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.